Hi loves, it's Lacey and welcome back to our space. And I know I have been away from my channel for far too long. A lot of stuff happened and it was unavoidable. But if you wanna know a little bit more about that, I will tell you at the end of the video. Now, for today's video, I am so excited to be collabing with my new friends, Kay and Trish over at The Crafting Cousins. Their channel is so filled with tutorials that are so high-end looking and creative and I just love them. They asked me if I'd like to collab and of course I said yes right away. We are bringing you guys some spring slash maybe Easter DIYs. I'm going to have mostly spring DIYs, well all spring DIYs for you guys here on my channel and I'm not sure exactly what they have for you yet because I'm going to be as surprised as you to check out to see what they have created. I already know it's going to be fabulous. Everything they do is fabulous. So I will be linking in their channel along with their video in this collaboration down in my description down below. Make sure you go over and say hi to them and tell them I sent you over. And if you are from their channel coming over here to see me, hi, I'm Lacey. I do what I think are high end, very budget friendly, a lot of Dollar Tree and DIYs here on my channel. I try to be creative and do things that you haven't seen before so if you like what I do maybe you want to hit that subscribe button and stick around for a while and see what else I come up with because I promise you I have a lot of things clicking around in this head and I'm going to be bringing a bunch of tutorials to you guys from now on so now let's jump into our first tutorial I'm gonna do this with pretty much all Dollar Tree products first I'm going to use one of the marble plates. Now, if you can't find this, don't worry. You can still do it with the other plate that I'm going to use. Or you can use two of these if you can't find the other one. But I'm going to use one marble plate. I'm going to use one clear glass plate because I can only find one marble plate. You can use two of these with this DIY too. One Pilsner's glass. It's this one here. I like the shape of this and you'll see why exactly. I have a few bunches of these really petite pale pink roses. I think they put these out around Valentine's Day, but my stores also had a bunch of these over in the regular flower section. And then I do have a few of these. These came from Walmart a while ago. You can see I've been using them. They're in my stash. You don't have to have these, but I wanted to put something that had a little you know, funky greenery and some little petite like flowers or something that might look like baby's breath with this. And then all you need is your hot glue gun. I'm using my big bad boy Ryobi and some hot glue sticks. I'm gonna be using Gorilla Glue Sticks to make sure that this project sticks together. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this plate and we're gonna turn it over. I'm not even gonna bother taking off the tag because you're never gonna see it. And we're gonna take our hot glue gun and we're going to put hot glue all around the lip of the bottom of the plate, the part that sits at the bottom. Try to get it pretty steady and get it right on that lip because that's where we're gonna connect the two plates together. Then we're gonna take our regular clear glass plate and we're gonna keep that one right side up and we're gonna glue it where the two lips kinda come together. The clear plate is a little bit bigger so it's gonna go over the other one slightly. You have a little bit of wiggle room on this to get it straight. But it's going to glue down pretty fast. Next, we're going to take our Pilsner's glass and we're going to put it right in the middle here. And we're going to glue it down to the plate just like that. Being kind of generous with the glue because I want this to stay. And again, I didn't even remove the sticker. It's gonna spread out. I tried to remove it and I didn't want to fight with it. 
and it will hold. And you want to make sure you get that right in the middle. Now, once that's dried, you're going to turn it over. And as you can see, we have a cake stand. Now you could have just glued this uh, to uh, the Pilsner glass, but what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take some of these little pink roses and we're going to remove them from them, their stems. And then we're gonna also remove some of the leaves. Next, we're gonna take some of our flowers and we're gonna take some of the leaves off. I took the little plastic thing that's on them off and we're gonna put them through the stem and then we're going to glue them into the channel all the way around this cake stand. Okay, so now you could stop here all together. And I think this is really pretty for spring. You can put all kinds of things on top of here. Candles or a bouquet of flowers, even though there's a bunch of flowers. This is a regular plate, so you can clean it off and put actual food on it. It would be a really pretty display for a cake because it is a cake stand. But you guys know I'm extra. I am I just can't never stop. So I thought these leaves would look pretty cool, probably coming down the base a little in a couple of spots. So I think I'm gonna put some of them underneath and have them come down as if this cake stand was growing.
And here is my final project. And I have to tell you guys, I'm absolutely in love with it. I think the pale pink roses and the vines all scream spring. And the marble top gives it a kind of high-end look. This was a great project to do on a budget. I use three packs of the pale pink roses and then three dollars in a dollar tree dishes basically and just a little extra that um kind of baby breath that's pink that i do believe came from walmart i'm sure you can find something similar at like dollar tree or hobby lobby michael's i'm not sure exactly but i thought it just gave it the extra oomph that it needed so on to project number two For project number two, we're going to be using one of the fish bowls from Dollar Tree. I know they have two sizes of these. I do believe this one is the smaller of the two, but I'm not exactly sure. If you have them, you can let me know down in the comment section down below. I have three of these, but they're all this size, so I'm not sure exactly if this is the bigger one or the smaller one. You're also going to need some of the acrylic gems. I have these in the clear, so they look like little diamonds. I have two packs of these. We're also going to be utilizing one of the Dollar Tree LED light strands. These are submergible. You can put them in water and they will be perfectly fine. I also have one of these really pretty pink peonies that are a little bit glittery on the top. They came from Michael's. I got mine on clearance so at the end of i don't know i think it was january when i picked it up or the beginning of february so if you don't have this dollar tree has a kind of really pretty pink flower and let me see if i can find it to show it to you okay this is the one from dollar tree and i used one similar to this on the purse that i made it was even bigger than this one but you could get this they also have it in white they have it in i do believe a lavender as well okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fish bowl and we're gonna take the gems with the flat side down not the pointy side and we're going to start gluing them on the bottom of this all the way around going up our fishbowl. We are going to take our little LED light here and it just twists on and off and we're going to place it inside of our little vase. Now Dollar Tree calls these bubble ball vases and they say right on the bottom that this is the 4.9 inch by 3.9 inch one. And so that's the size I use. And I actually had 
some of one pack of these left over, but I really like how the light reflects off of this and it looks like little diamonds around it. Now you can put water in here and you can float in a real plant. I'm going to go ahead and take this off of my Dollar Tree plant and put it on the top and we're going to just float it here with some of the greenery and look how beautiful that is for spring. You can make a set of these. You could put them on candlesticks and place them up high or you can just let them be down low like they are and it is gorgeous. And here's how that DIY turned out. And it is so simple and easy to do, but it gives you such a great bang for your buck. I love that it only costs $5 to make and you can put a real flower in there because the LED light can go underwater with no problem whatsoever. So on to DIY number three. I changed out the light to bright white. And I'm going to show you what the other flower would look like. Okay, for this DIY, this is going to be the simplest DIY in the world to do, but I think it's really pretty. I did something similar last year where I stacked some books and I wrapped them all in wrapping paper, different wrapping papers and put a bow on them. I know a lot of people do the stack books and they write on the spine of them and some people paint them, some people tear off the cover, but in this tutorial, no books will be harmed. So from Dollar Tree, I picked up this book. See how big it is? Look at it against my hand. If you didn't know, Dollar Tree carries coffee table books and actually my sister sister picked up this one for me and I'm going to be using it because I like the pink spine on it and the pink writing because we are doing pink things here today. Then you want to grab any other book. I picked up this book which is actually my boyfriend's book Chad and I just liked it because it's smaller than this one and it is thicker. So we are going to open this book up. I took the sleeve off of it already and I'm just going to try to get it towards the middle and crack the spine open on it so that it'll lay across this book like that. I also am going to be recycling the bow from my last year's tutorial. I just slid it off of the books that I had and took a little bit of the embellishment off of it. So it is the Easter ribbon from Dollar Tree and some fern pieces from the greenery from Dollar Tree. As you can see, there's a theme with the Dollar Tree stuff here in all of my videos today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this on to this book. Now, before I had the books closed and they slid in like this, but I'm hoping the smaller book will slide in long ways on this bow. So all I did literally was wrap the ribbon around the book last year. That's how I got this bow and I tied it in a bow and then I left the long ends so I could tie a second bow. But I want this bow to sit in the middle of these books just like this and I'm going to fluff it back up. I like the fact that it has the greenery on it and I'm going to set it a little diagonal and then push the sides up so it looks really pretty on here. Now you could actually lift this side up and bend it up a little bit, still not damaging the book and put some like chenille or chanel, however you pronounce it, stems underneath it. I'm just going to leave it like this because I think it's really pretty. However, I want to add some flowers in on this. So these are some Dollar Tree roses that I use to make a friend's bouquet and I had some left over so they just go in my loose flower thing and so I'm going to go ahead and tuck them in around the bow and then this DIY basically will be done. 
I actually have a really pretty locket that I was going to lay across the book as well, but I cannot seem to find it anywhere. But that would be a really pretty accent to this DIY. Or you could do a wooden bead garland. I think this is leaning more towards high end and romantic. So I think the locket or a pretty like ring or something would be even nicer than to do a beaded garland. And for a final touch, I'm going to take one of the butterflies out of this Dollar Tree die cut butterfly set. They had these last year and I ended up buying the pink ones, the blue ones, and the orange tone ones. And I didn't buy a lot of the pink ones because I love the blue ones so much. I bought more of those. But I wish I would have since I decided to do pink this year. So we're going to use one of these and place it on here as well. And you guys know me, I'm going to turn it over and glue a second one just like it to the back. Just like that. But before I do that, I'm going to take a little bit of floor wire and make some antennas to go, some antennae, I think it's called, to go in the middle. And then we'll put it on our books. There you have it. That is our last DIY. I want to thank Trish and Kay for inviting me to collab with them. Make sure you check out the links down in my description and go over to their channel and tell them I sent you and say hi. I cannot wait to see exactly what they made for this collab. I want to thank all of you guys for watching, for liking, and always sharing my videos. And if you aren't a member here at Lacey Space, I don't know why not. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Become a subscriber. Hang out with us for a while. We have a lot of fun here and we make a lot of cool things here. Also, if you like, follow me on Instagram. It's Lacey Space the same way as spelled here and I will catch all of you in my next video. In my next video, I'll be using this. It's from Dollar Tree too. Yes, they are brand new. My stores just got them in. So you better hit that subscribe button if you want to see what I'm going to do next.